Hey guys, welcome back to NG, uh, Spirit Hunter NG. So last time, Ami disappeared and we met Kakuya, Kaguya, whatever her name is. Alright, let's get back into it. Spiritfall Yuri has been updated. Ooh, okay. 7.30 girl calls herself Kakuya. Ami, still no idea where she is. Kakuya says only the Urashima woman knows. Big brother, me, <laughs> I eat me, uh, only I can save Ami. Reason Yuri attacked, uh, Kakuya set it up. Uh, was this all real? <laughs> no, it's just a dream. Sparifal Yuri has been updated. Okay. No, 7.30 regarding Yuri Takamura 4. Yuri Ami um, also met Yuri. Ami um, also met with Kakuya. They get mixed up with Kakuya's game. Uh, black postcard. Yeah, see? Because Ami um, was the first one to touch the postcard. Losing. Yuri's accident. Ami um, missing. So that's what happens when they lose the game. If I lose, am I going to die too? Who knows? Seven thirty-one. The day after Ami disappeared, once I told Aunt Natsumi what happened, she contacted the cops to have them go search for her. As the last person to see her, of course they were suspicious of me. The berserk car, the sound of the flute, and Kakuya. I told them everything that happened that night. The guy who questioned me couldn't hide his smirk. He clearly didn't believe me. No surprise. I could hardly believe it all myself, and I lived it. Yeah, you were first witness, and you don't even believe it yourself. The painfully long questioning done, I finally make my way back to my apartment. I slowly drag my feet up the rickety stairs to my door. I'm exhausted. I'm home. I don't feel like turning on the lights. Then don't. The quiet dark might help organize my thoughts. What should I do now? I speak out loud to focus on the sound. It's my voice. And I should be used to it, but somehow it feels like it belongs to someone else. I've got two options. Let the police deal with it, or handle this myself. A typical kidnapping or missing person is a job for the cops as their professionals. Though, going by all the smug looks I got explaining things, I doubt they believe me. Besides, that Kakuya girl said... <laughs> Kakuya will play with you next. Let's play the Urashima woman game. Look for the Urashima woman. If you don't play with Kakuya, you'll disappear too. And Ami will never come back. She's waiting for me. What should I do? Probably play the game. <laughs> Give my head a shake. Focus. I have to make a decision. Oh, this is legit. Oh my god. Wanny, wanny, wanny. I will... Go after Kakuya. <laughs> Let the cops handle it dead instantly. <laughs> Clear. I mean, there was no other choice. I mean, if I wanted Ami back, yeah, I would have to. Oh, I'll play your game. I'll play the hell out of it. I'll crush it. So hard you won't have a stage to stand on. Plus, going after her will probably lead me to Ami. 
I just know she's gotta be involved in Ami's disappearance. Mindset. I flipped the lights on. Damn light. Why does it seem so bright? This probably because you went in with no light on, and then your eyes adjusted to that darkness. Okay, where to start? Detectives usually search personal belongings first, right? Open my closet and pull out what I had hidden there. It's on these headphones that I found earlier. I should have turned them in as evidence, but something made me hold on to them. I got dizzy out of nowhere after I touched the blood stain. Oh gosh. What was that? Oh. Wait. Kakuya was telling her to bring her flowers, not... No, 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 no. She met with Kakuya, but Yuri told Ami to bring her flowers, so Ami could be trapped in the game because Ami, I guess, maybe Ami didn't want to play it? Again. Like someone jabbed antenna in my head and I'm picking up TV signals, but I can't see it clearly. Someone's calling. Oh, it's Amaname. <laughs> Hello? Tatsuya, I heard about Ami. We sure put you through the ringer. It's a good life experience to grow from. You learn uh, of things fast, as usual. Well, I have a friend in the police. Of course you do. <laughs> he went out of his way to report to me since it involved a classmate of mine. Sounds like the Amaname family influence extends to the police department. Can you come to Black Rabbit? Tell me everything there while I comfort the heartbroken Miss Natsumi. Black Rabbit isn't open, Aunt Natsumi is busy. Didn't you say you had a spare key? Anyway, let's meet there. Don't make me wait, Tatsuya. Don't just decide on your own. Hold on. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Finished with what he had to say. He hangs up on me. Of course. This guy. Oh, I was hoping to open the freaking curtain again. I grab my bag and leave my apartment heading toward the bar. I wasn't expecting to save this early on. Because, like, I recently. I had just recently saved. Oh my god, this system save data. I don't understand why they have. Whoa! Game of Death, Amaname Hazuki. Oh my god. Do I have to pick between which one? No one should be here, but the lights are on. Tatsuya. She... Are those her eyes? Is to the side? Aunt Natsumi sits inside looking exhausted. She's hiding it well with makeup, but the bags under her eyes are still there. The bar's closed today. I'm meeting a Maname here. What about you? I left something. I'm so forgetful. In her hands is the small clutch that Ami always used. Okay. I'm off to the police station. You can use the bar as you wish, but try not to be out too late, alright? Onatsumi quickly leaves the store. Her steps are so unsteady, it looks like she could collapse right in front of me. Huh? What's this? Papers are scattered over the counter. Ami's face looks back at me 
above what Ami's face looks back at me above the words have you seen her oh missing posters bet she can't stand sitting around and doing nothing I mean technically you're not sitting around doing anything I mean yeah cause you're I turn on the TV and to pass the time while I wait for Amaname. Looks like I caught the local news. They're talking about topics in the Sheen's Award. In other news, the corpse of a f what? of a female was found yesterday at Yamato Shrine. The Sheen's of police plan to investigate to determine if this is a possible crime or an accident. The sh Shrine's administration announced that the park will be closed at night for the next few days. As a result, all events scheduled to take place in Yamada Shrine, including the concert by idol Mom Momo Kuruse, have been cancelled. The performance has been rescheduled to... A picture of a girl with silver hair appears on the screen. It's the occult idol Ami likes. She hadn't planned to go to the concert, but I'm sure she'd be disappointed to hear this. So... You did come like I told you to. A good boy like you deserves a present. He tosses a can of coffee at me with the word Dawn. At least it didn't say Dom on it. <laughs> it's got a face of a bristled man who looks like a bandit leader on it. Regular coffee has 150 milligrams of caffeine, but apparently this kind has twice that. What do you think? Like a wire to the brain, huh? What was... what was... Yeah. Oh, you actually really like it. I thought it'd piss you off. Oh! What is that face? All I know is... I was hoping to make him happy. We've known each other for so long and I still can't predict what you like. <laughs> you never do what I expect. Anyway, let's get right to it. My cop friend told me what you said during questioning. That a girl in traditional clothes is involved with Ami's disappearance. Have you gone crazy? Of course you don't believe me. I would have punched you to stop making up things if you told me the same. What? I would have punched you to stop making up things... Yeah. Hitting me is unnecessary, you barbarian. I don't need anyone to believe me. It's my problem, I'll take care of it. Fool yourself as always. Your courageous recklessness reminds me of Don Quat. Yeah, him. <laughs> but that's what makes you, you. These days, we've only got guys who leave all their work for others to deal with. It's rare to find someone like you who takes matters into their own hands. Putting aside whether I believe your fairy tale or not, I'd love to see how a guy like you will tackle something like this. Sounds very entertaining. Count me in too. Uh... Guess you don't really care. <laughs> Then I'll do as I please, thank you. Besides, I stand to gain something from this myself. Finding Ami will be will get me extra brownie points with Miss Natsumi. I knew I should have gone with the mad face. I was like, should I be mad? I kinda don't want him to tag along. Cause I mean it said the the, the choice was life and death between him and the other girl. This is a once in a lifetime chance to break through her guard. Ugh, whatever. Okay. Alright, I'm getting pumped. But see, like, I, if he dies, the Yakuza will blame me for it. I mean, it would technically be my fault because he's tagging along. But, like, if the other girl dies, my line to the occult is gone because she's an occult fan. I'm assuming. This reminds me of when you and I dealt with that dealer who crept too far into our turf. Oh yeah, whatever happened to that guy? I left him with you, he's dead. Hmm, I wonder. 
I haven't seen him since then. Maybe he went back home. Or to, you know, the bottom of a river. I heard he lives... <laughs> See? I heard he lives near the ocean. Or perhaps he's swimming with the fishies th these days. It'd be smart to drop this top rope right now. I knew it. <laughs> huh? Oh? A customer? Oh. <gasps> Bursting into the bar comes someone I recognize. Kaoru Hazuki. Um, Miss Natsumi. I want to know more about what happened to Ami. Oh, Shiba. Where's Miss Natsumi? She wasn't at home, so I figured she'd be at the bar. Ami told me where to find it a long time ago. She's gone to the police. I see. Those close. You must be Kaoru Hazuki. I see why Maruhashi was thrilled. You're pretty cute. Who are you exactly? And why do you know my name? Oh, are you the F an FBI psychic detective? And you use some kind of mind reading on me? If so, then I want your autograph. My name is Seiji Yamanome. Not a common last name, is it? If you get what I'm saying, this will go much faster. You're part of the Amaname family? Her body stiffens as she realizes. Anyone who doesn't know Seiji Amanume, Amanome reacts exactly the same. Why is a member of the Yakuza here? He's a friend. He's the boss's son, but he's not a member yet. He won't bite so long as you don't mess with him. Could you not introduce me like some dog? Anyway, where did you hear about Ami Hazuki? Huh, Miss Natsumi called me while I was out. She didn't go into detail, so... But you can fill me in, right, Shiba? Yeah, I was thinking the same. I want to hear it from you directly. Maybe Hazuki will believe your fairy tale. Girls love those sorts of things. Fairy tale? And then I explained this long, arduous story about what happened. I told them everything that happened that night. <laughs> About the van attacking us, how Ami disappeared, and my encounter with Kakuya. Amaname smirk never wavers as he listens. Doesn't look like his opinion is going to change. But Hazuki is completely serious. Her gaze is so intense, it's like she's memorizing every word I say. <laughs> You're serious? Yeah, don't believe me if you want, but... No, 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 I believe you. That was fast. That Kaguya girl you mentioned, she must be a spirit. A spirit? What's that? What? You don't know about spirits? Are you saying you don't read Moe's Age City featured article in all, all parts? I don't know what that what any of that means. <laughs> I don't read that. Maybe it's like a cult stuff. To be fair, Monthly Oil Parts is a minor occult magazine. Ha! Ah, I was right! It shits out tabloid gray fantasies about ghosts and urban legends. Speaking of, I found out that NG means no good. So when he, when Tatsuya was saying that last game, last, not last game, last time that his summer vacation was now NG, he was saying it's no good. And nobody with any sense reads it. That face, I love it. It's not fantasy, it's the truth. You think so too, right, Shiba? You believe in ghosts and urban legends. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. I'll be in the middle. Cause, I mean, I know Shiba doesn't exactly believe in it. Like, he didn't think it, about it, and then until it happened, so... I'm gonna put it in the middle. Ugh, this is why boys suck. I should have just agreed with her. <laughs> Ooh. Look at those arms! I think this is actually in the trailer for this game. Spirits aren't human. They say they're what becomes of people who died with a strong grudge. So, like a ghost? They're similar 
Though they're more they're of a more violent nature. They have a strong hatred towards the living. That's why they try to kill us. A drop of sweat runs down my back. Ooh, that can't feel comfortable. Last night I barely escaped that runaway van. Is there anything else? Well, let's see. Spirits are distinguished by how they feed off of fear. They drive humans to the brink of death and soak them in fear and despair. That is their wish. That's all I remember of what's written about them. Fear, huh? Hey, Shiva. This Kaguya told you to search for the Urashima woman, right? Yeah, pretty sure. It's some kind of game between her and me. So, does that mean the Urashima woman from the rumors actually exists? What? You know what she's talking about? Well, of course. See, this is why I I don't want her to die, because she she's like my direct line to the occult stuff. It's the most discussed rumor right now on the Shinzo Ward ghost story forums. Oh my god, that face! Go away with your freaky right hand. Enough of this! Why are we even floating the idea that ghosts exist? It's foolish and unproductive. Man, this is why I don't want you to be a part of it. Zip it. Hazuki, who is the Urashima woman? It's the ghost of a woman said to appear at Yamato Shrine. But Yamato Shrine is closed at night now. The shrine contains Urashima Lake, hence the name Urashima Woman. And, well, about the ghost... The rumor on the forums goes like this. Rumors of the Urashima Woman. Urashima. Okay, you don't need to say Urashima like that. <laughs> Urashima. You heard about the body of the college girl that was found at Yamada. Oh my god, thank god it was the college girl and it was not Ami. Okay, scratch that. I'm sad that the college girl died, but... At least it wasn't Ami. <laughs> that was found at Yamada Shrine, right? Apparently it was right next to Urashima Lake. I bet the Urashima woman did it. They say that Urashima woman is the ghost of a woman who died in Urashima Lake. Like, suicide died or drowned? Because she's carrying a baby. If you do a certain thing at the shrine, she'll appear. What are you supposed to do? Easy. Go to the lake in the dead of night and just throw a rock in. Dude, that's not even remotely fair. Well, I've heard it's up to luck whether you see the Urashima woman or not. According to those who did see her, she looks like a soaked pregnant woman. Oh, that's sad. About that college girl who died, her friend invited her to go with him to find out if the rumor was true. Though they were going to the park in the middle of the night, so maybe they were fooling around. When they reached the boat dock, they used rock, paper, scissors to decide who'd test it. The college girl lost. Nervous, she picked up a random rock and threw it into Urashima Lake. The splash echoed through the quiet park. The two of them slowly glanced around. But no one was there. The lake looked the same as well, shining dimly under the moonlight. They must have felt relieved. They laughed together over silly rumors. 
but I guess they still felt uneasy as they left the park right away. It all started the next day when the girl stopped coming to classes. People called her over and over, but she never answered nor responded to their messages. A few days later, her friends became worried, so they decided to go visit her. <clears throat> and that's when they found her drowned body by Urashima Lake. That... Oh, they went to go visit her, like, at her house? And they're like, oh, she must be at the lake. Because she did the thing. Like, that's such a jump. And for some reason, her corpse was swarming with small turtles. Creepy. And that's the scary rumor of the Urashima woman. Wasn't that just spine tingling? <laughs> Maname already had a pale face, but now he looks kind of looks drained of blood. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. His face goes blank, and his eyes are out of focus. Could it be? You're the type that can't deal with ghosts or scary stories. Oh no, wait, he fears it. Oh, that's right, I totally forgot. That's why he made that face. That's right, got a problem with it? My aversion to these sorts of things is more or less what like what you'd consider a wheat allergy. Meaning that's just how my body reacts. I can't help it if it doesn't. When I heard you were the son of a boss, I was afraid that you'd be scary, but... So you can be cute too, Maname. Why are you smiling? And why are you being so overly familiar with me? It's been like this since elementary. Ghosts and scary stories are his weak point. He once heard a scary story on an overnight trip, couldn't sleep and fainted the next day. I wonder if the Urashima woman Kakia spoke about is connected to the rumor. I doubt there's more than one of them. It's worth checking. Right, we have to look into it. We have to find the truth about the Urashima woman and her identity. You're having fun with this, aren't you? Well, my interest in ghosts of the occult is part of my life's work, after all. Are you, uh, are your weird hobby enclosed because of that occult idol? Yeah, of course I'm a momoler. Plus, the Urashima woman got Momo's concert cancelled. I can't forgive her. I agree that we should investigate the rumors. Obviously, it's to prove the Urashima woman doesn't exist. She's really just a pregnant woman on a stroll. Fear makes the wolf bigger than he is. Right then, let's get going. Huh? Right now? Hold on, you're coming with us? Of course. No way am I going to miss this chance to see an actual spirit up close. What will you do after you meet it? Get an autograph or something? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course not. I'm not that dumb. I would just love to see one up close, like fans are with idols. Besides, there's also Ami. Going after the Unashima woman kills two birds with one stone. So, I'll be hanging around for a while, Shiba. I'm excited. <laughs> That's quite the welcome. Let's solve the secret of the Urashima woman together. And find Ami, of course. I don't mind going, but... Didn't the news say something about the Yamato Shrine being closed at night right now? Wouldn't the trip be for nothing? It's enough to go there and check it out. Besides, you'd be surprised at the ways one can get through well-guarded places. I've heard about diehard fans sneaking into their favorite idol's dressing room. One of these diehard fans doesn't happen to be you, does it? I bet she stole the clothes she's wearing from Momo Kurusei's dressing room. Do you want me to curse you both to death? Oh, she's so cute. Uh, the clock. It's late. If we're going, we better leave now. 
and keep an eye out for cops. It'll be a huge hassle if they catch us. Oh, leave that to me. I know a route that circumvents the police. And why would you know that? I like exploring haunted places. They started recognize me, recognizing me the more times I went out. So that night with Maruhashi. Yeah, I was returning from a haunted place. I'd heard about an abandoned gentleman's club downtown where ghosts appear. I was lucky and a window happened to be open, so I was able to sneak in, but... No ghost shut up, unfortunately. I even waited two hours. Hey, Tatsuya. This girl seems kind of crazy, don't you think? I guess not just her clothes are strange. But she seems to know a lot. Better than her than someone who'd get in the way. Hmm, I suppose that's true. If anything, she's not too bad looking, so she might be of use. Sometimes you just need a woman's charm to get out of you out of a situation. Uh, you do know I can hear everything right. <laughs> I swear, this is like my favorite expression of hers. <laughs> We leave Black Rabbit and head toward Yamato Shrine under Hazuki's direction. Spirit file Urashima woman has been updated. 731 Urashima woman rumor notes. Urashima woman Yamato Shrine story. Spirits. Hazuki says they curse people to death. Ghost of woman who died in lake in maternity wear. Throw a rock in lake to meet her. Depends on luck. College girl tried, found, drowned. Covered in turtles. Cool. Okay, that wasn't actually cool at all, but... A few minutes of walking gets us to the entrance of Yamato Shrine. Like we were warned, the main entrance is closed. Huh, so it really is closed at night. Though it is just a park, I doubt there's much in the way of security. It's curd. I measure up the height of the gate. I can jump this. Well, I'm sure it'd be a breeze for you, Tatsuya. Let's check the secu f for security cameras, just in case. It'd be a hassle if they call the cops on us. But the biggest problem... Amanime glances over his shoulder. The security guard seems super dedicated to keeping an eye out. It's so late. I figured they'd go home at some point or something. When no one's around, it's, it is the exact time more security is required. Not everyone is as honest as you, Hazuki. It's just common sense. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I get the feeling I should put an end to this conversation now. Anyway. I may as well try talking to the guy at least. Awesome. I'm actually gonna save it here, and end it here, cause my god that was a lot of information to process. <laughs> so we got Urashima woman, her story-ish down. Uh, I have a feeling someone, one of us is gonna die, it's not gonna be me, I'm hoping it's not gonna be Kaoru. Whatever his name is, is cool and all, but he's kinda dead to the story except for blackmailing people. So. I will catch you guys in the next one, and I guess we'll find out. Bye.